Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. So um, today we're going to be moving the sheep and the lambs from one paddock to another. So we had drafted them off a while ago um, and a couple of the lambs have made their way back into the paddock where the ewes are. But they're not feeding off their mum so we're kind of just going to let it be for now. Um, we will eventually draft them all back off and get them where they're supposed to be. But for today we're just going to move the ewes out of the paddock that they're in because they've already eaten all the grass down. Um, and so give them some more feed and the lambs will move back into our back paddock. Um, I just missed, there was a whole heap of kangaroos jumping around, but I've got Kira with me and they got scared and, and hopped off. So I, I'm sorry I missed that, but I will try and get some, some footage of the view, of the kangaroos, views, <laughs> the kangaroos and, um, and I'll, uh, try and insert that in, in the vlog somehow along the way. Anyhow, I'll get going. So I'm hoping Kira's going to help me, um, and Andrew will come out and help me shortly. Um, she's pretty good with the sheep. She's pretty good at rounding up the sheep. We, gen we did a little bit of sheep jog training with her in the early days when she was a pup. Um, she's now about seven and she doesn't do it all the time because we're just a hobby farm. We've only got a few sheep. So um, she just, you know, does her thing. She does her natural, what comes naturally to her and we just let her roll with it. So we'll see how she goes. Sometimes they split into two groups and she's finds it hard then to get them back together but anyway i'll try and capture some footage might be a bit tricky because it's a pretty big paddock um but i'll get on and see what happens here's kira with full concentration face waiting patiently at the gate but the the paddock that she's waiting to go into doesn't have any sheep in it at the moment it's just where the kangaroos were um but anyway she's such a good girl look at her she's just got game face on she's like i'm ready for action what do you want me to do mum <laughs> this way kira wait okay bring him in There's all the sheep in the background. May take a while because she's gotten into doing this stalking thing. Bring them in, Kira. Okay, so the sheep have seen her. So any minute now, she should dart off around one either left or right and go around the back of them and round them up. Way back, Kira! Way back! Here she goes. Zip off over the back. And technically, she should bring them all back down to me. And here they come. There she is up the back. Bring them in! Whoops. Wasn't very good filming, was it? Good girl. Good girl. Such a clever girl. So she's got them all together in a group. Ah, and then, ah, then they split. Can she get them back together again? Come on, Chicky. Good girl. Well done. Whoops, she got two off on their own. Oh no, there they go. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm trying to walk backwards towards the gate. Ah, there's the U. She's not supposed to really be in there, but. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, Kira. Good girl. Come. Good girl, Kira. Good girl. Good girl, Kira. 
Good girl. Good girl, Kira. That's it. Good girl. Come on, bring them in. Good girl. Bring them in. Good girl. Come on, bring them in. Good girl. I'm just walking backwards through the gate, so I'm sorry. I've got my gimbal, but it might be a bit bumpy. Good girl, Kira. So I'm now standing in the gate into the paddock where we want them to be. Come on, Kira, bring them in. Good girl, bring them in, bring them in. And hopefully they don't run up the hill and they come in through the gate. Come on. So I'm supposed to be the safe place. Yep, they've seen the gate. Come on. Good girl, good girl, steady. Slow, steady. Good, good, slow, good. Yep. Good girl, just wait, wait. Kira, wait. Yep, and through they come. Yeah, success. Come on, Kira, push them through. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Kira, get back, get back, Kira, get back. Kira, get back. Kira, back. Kira, back. Ah, they're going back out. Kira, back. Back. Get back. Way back. Kira, way back. She's worried about the kangaroos. Way back. Way back. Way back. Kira. No. <laughs> She's going to take off after the kangaroos. You're a little poop head. No. <laughs> Bye, Kelpie. <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> what a crack up. <laughs> Off she goes. <laughs> See ya, Kira. <laughs> All right, we'll swing back around. What's happening with our little peeps? I might just climb through the fence and try and push them through myself. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I've just climbed over the fence. Now, I'll push them through myself. <laughs> At least Kira got them to the gate for me, so that was helpful, wasn't it? Just swing back out. All right, come on, little ones. Through you go. Boop, boop, boop. Kira! No! No! No, Kira! Kira, here to me. Here to me. Here to me now. Good girl. Sit, 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 and wait. Right. Dog's out the way. Wait. Good girl. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know what that filming's going to look like. But we've got the sheep where we want them. Kira nearly put a spanner in the works, didn't she? Oh, and there goes. I'll try and zoom in. There goes the kangaroos. Up the paddock. Pretty good zoom on the camera. There's a kangaroo up in the paddock. There was another one there somewhere. Can't see that now. Anyway, there's our little peeps. All in the back paddock. Now we've got to go get the mummers. Oh, so that was a bit exciting. <laughs> Kara was hilarious. She did half the job, didn't she? And then she just wanted to take off after the kangaroos. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I'm just walking across the paddock now and I just thought I'd video because the cloud formation, I don't know if you can, well, of course you can see that in the background because I'm filming, um, but the cloud formation is just spectacular. So it's been a gorgeous day here and um, it's sort of evening time, well, it's heading into evening, but our days are getting a little longer because we're nearly coming to our daylight saving time where we turn the clocks forward and um, have more daylight hours at the end of the day, which oh, I'm so looking forward to. It's fabulous already because when I get home at the moment, I normally get home from work around a little bit before six o'clock in the evening and I've still got a little bit of daylight, which is um, really nice when you're getting home in the dark I don't know if anyone else out there 
you know, you've got horses and maybe they're registered or you've got your own property, but you know, you get home in the dark, you feel like you don't get to see any of the animals, you don't get to see the beautiful property. Yeah, it's just, gets you down a little bit sometimes. But we're coming to that lovely time of the year at the moment, I just love springtime. And we've still got beautiful green grass. But it won't take too long. Um, next couple of months, this will all start to dry off and it will go a lovely golden, golden color. We'll lose all the green, um, which is good for the ponies because at the moment it's way too much green for them because they're big fatty boombas. But um, yeah, this will this will dry off um, and yeah, it'll look very different. So you'll get to see through all the seasons, which is pretty exciting. And that's what I love about where we live, where we live here in South Australia, where we get that change in seasons. Anyway, I'm banging on about the weather again, aren't I? So I'm nearly at the um, paddock where the ewes are, and they're actually spread over two paddocks. So this could be quite interesting. And um, yeah, we'll see whether Kira's a help this time. A full help. Here she comes. Sit, sit. Kira, sit. Oh, thank you. You can see in the background there behind Kira, there's all this kind of fleecy wool on the fence. That's because we've got dorper sheep and the dorper sheep actually don't need to be shorn. They rub their fleece off um, and so then they, they shed for the summer. Um, yeah, so we don't need to shear the sheep. Um, so they're, they're raised and produced as a meat sheep. So we'll just see how we go here with Kira because I think my plan of action is I will try and, Kira, here with me, try and get her to come down into this bottom paddock. Oh no, the sheep are gonna come up. Kira, here with me, here. Here, here. Sorry about me yelling. Kira, Kira, sit. Good girl, just wait. So those sheep down the bottom may come up because they're gonna feel a threat. They're gonna feel that Kira is a threat and they might all come and group together on their own. So we'll just see how we go. So here's the ewes from the bottom paddock. So they have done what I thought they'd do and they're all starting to come up together. So I'll just wait until they group, group together. So here they go, they're all grouping together. So Andrew's come down to um, help us. So Kira's just run off with him for now. Bring him in. Good girl, bring him in. Okay, bring them in Kira, come on, bring them in, come on girls, come on, come on, way back. Yeah, they come. Way back, way back Kira, way back, way back, Kira, way back, way back. So this way one back. in the front it was actually bottle fed by us, so we call her kitty cat. Woo! I'm jumping through the fence. They're so funny. Stay, stay. Drop, Kira. Drop. Here. Drop, drop. Good girl. She did really well. Well done. I hope you enjoyed watching Kira doing her thing with the sheep. I'm sure she enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Chicky Choo? Did you enjoy it? Yeah? Did you enjoy it? I'm sure you did. Um, as you notice, we call her all sorts of things. She gets Chicky Chew, Poo Poo Head, uh, Smoochie. Um, she's got a few different little nicknames. So comment down below, what do you nickname your animals? Kira, stay here, sweet. <laughs> um, she wants to run off and go play. So um, yeah, write a comment and tell me what you call your, um, what your animals get nicknamed. Um, I hope you enjoyed our sheepy vlog. It was something a little bit different and um, until we meet again, stay safe, stay well, and remember to enjoy the little things in life. Bye for now. Mm. <laughs>